8020's linear bearings are a durable option for linear motion applications. Bearing pads, screws, and shims are included. There are various configurations available. We'll also note that linear bearings are designed for compression loads only. To install, first preload the hardware. Then we'll slide the bearing onto the extrusion and tighten the bolts. Now we'll just guide the second extrusion into the linear bearing. Another thing you'll notice is that some linear bearings have brake holes. If we choose to install a brake, insert the bolt from the inside of the brake hole and place the washer on the opposite side. Then we just have to thread the handle onto the bolt and it's ready for use. Turn the handle counterclockwise to loosen and clockwise to activate the brake. Let's not forget about the shims. To use one, peel one from the pack. Next, we'll loosen the bearing pad screws slightly. Then insert the shim between the bearing and bearing pad. Tighten the screws and we're good to go. For more information, please visit 8020.net.